Three fairies were on guard duty next to a giant beanstalk that grew just outside their city. Its roots were in the human world below, and the fairies could see right down into the world below. They guarded it to make sure no one climbed up and that no silly fairies climbed down. One of today's three guards was called Glenna. She was sitting on the edge of the hole with her legs hanging over the side. She ignored the other fairies when they begged her not to. As she leaned forward, she lost her balance and began to fall. Her cry of, Help! faded quickly as she fell. The other two fairies flew to get help. Glenna fell a long way. She held her hand over her pocket as she fell. Her crystal was in there. She had to use the crystal to make her wings appear. If she took it out of her pocket while she was falling, she might drop it. She fell a long, long way. Her foot caught on a branch and she flipped upside down. Her precious crystal shot out and shattered. Her arms reached out, trying to grab them. At last it was over. She fell onto grass and lay on her back for a moment watching the crystal triangles rain down around her. Wobbling slightly as she stood up, she hurried over to the house and looked around. Nothing. She sat down on a big rock near the house and tried to think of a plan. She must have fallen asleep because the next thing she heard was a voice saying, Hello. A young girl stood in front of her. She was smiling. Hi, said the girl. I'm Charlotte and I'm seven. Hi, said Glenna. I'm Glenna. I'm a fairy. Is this your house? asked Glenna. No, said Charlotte. It's my grandma's house. We're staying here for the school holidays. I've lost something. Maybe you can help me find it. It's some pieces of my fairy crystal. It broke when I fell. Glenna told Charlotte the whole story. Charlotte didn't seem surprised. My grandma told me not to go near that tree, she said. She said weird things happen around it. Well, I can't get home again until I put my crystal back together. And I'm still missing some pieces, said Glenna. We'll start looking, said Charlotte. Charlotte's mother looked out the window and saw Charlotte playing with what she thought was another little girl, and she smiled. That night, Charlotte went to sleep and dreamed about fairies and magic crystals. Early the next morning, Charlotte heard her mother calling for her. Charlotte, your friend is here again. Oh, that's Glenna, said Charlotte. I'm helping her look for her crystal. I think we'll have to call her the Dawn Fairy. She seems to show up very, very early. After a week of searching, they found a missing piece. Glenna put it carefully into her pocket. The holidays went by and ended far too quickly for Charlotte. The morning they were to leave, Charlotte waited and waited. But no Glenna. Her mother said they couldn't wait any longer and they drove off in their car. Many years passed, and then many more. Charlotte never had any more holidays at her grandma's house, and her grandma sold the house, and an old lady bought it. She had a stone wall built around it with an iron gate that sang when it was opened or closed. She was often out in her garden, and often appeared to be looking for something. One day, a red ball bounced on top of the stone wall and fell into her yard. Hello, said a little girl. Is it okay if I get my ball? Yes, said the lady. Climb down and we'll find it. It's my grandma's birthday today and she's 93. She hasn't been here for a very, very long time. But she said she had a friend who was a fairy and they used to look for a magic crystal. Do you think I could wish her a happy birthday? asked the old lady. Yes, said the girl. I'll take you. Happy birthday, Charlotte, said the old lady. Charlotte stared as she slowly recognized her old friend. I waited for you, said Charlotte. I had a surprise for you. Charlotte removed her necklace. 
It was a square locket. She opened it up and shook something into her hand. She held it out for Glenna. I found the last piece, she said. Glenna placed the last piece into the crystal. It started to glow red. Suddenly, the old lady disappeared, and in her place was Glenna, the Dawn Fairy, just as Charlotte remembered her. Are you really a fairy? asked Charlotte's granddaughter. Yes, said Glenna. I'm the Dawn Fairy. Later that night, Charlotte and her grandmother watched from a window as Glenna stood at the base of the mysterious tree. Glenna slipped her hand into her pocket and touched her crystal. This time, a pair of beautiful sparkling wings appeared. She turned her head slightly and gave a wink over her shoulder. She then leapt into the air and disappeared up the mysterious tree.